Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Dodge Hornet GT. Uh, this was released in 2023. This is their newer small compact SUV offering. It's extremely sporty looking and I believe it's actually based on one of the Alfa Romeo models. Um, starting off up front, we have this really sleek style LED headlight with LED accent lighting kit. Four wheel drive Dodge logo up front. This guy does have the 360 degree camera system, so your front facing camera is gonna be right behind and underneath the logo. Front facing parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. This guy is also gonna have adaptive cruise control, so that's your sensor right there. Beautiful exterior color. It reminds me of the Velocity Blue color offered a couple years back. Cross path detection is included. Plastic fender flares that transition into a rocker panel applique. I really appreciate that, especially living in a northern climate. It is gonna keep rock chips and debris off of the paint. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some Goodyear, uh, what is this? Territory all season tires. And if I can see the tire size, I'll let you guys know, but I can't see it quick enough. So I do apologize on that. It looks like it's about a 17 inch wheel, and maybe an 18 inch wheel. Blacked out Hornet badging on the quarter panel right here. Black mirror cap, your mirror mounted camera is gonna be right there. Blind spot monitoring, it does, it's right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is included. This guy has passive entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. On the passenger side, we have your uh, capless fuel fill port right here. Coming around to the back, I love, love, love this tail light setup. Even the Dodge logo lights up, which is pretty sweet. Parking sensors are integrated into the upper and middle portion of the bumper. Backup camera is going to be right there. Your GT badge is going to be on the passenger side, and then your Hornet badging is going to be on the driver's side. This is a very, very aggressive looking car. Pretty small SUV, but um, very stout. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off over here on the driver's side door, looks like we have this really nice leather and red stitching. All the window controls are here. Mirror controls are up top. It looks like we have some sort of premium audio group. Maybe it's the Harman Kardon audio group. Your unlock and lock buttons, as well as your three seat memory are right there. All the lighting for the exterior of the vehicle are going to be controlled right here. We also have a dimmer switch for the instrument cluster up top. The dashboard is a soft rubberized dashboard. Coming down to the instrument cluster, it looks like it is 100% digital, which is awesome. Different animations pop up. That is sweet. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a kind of mildly aggressive, not super soft leather steering wheel, but we do have more aggressive bolsters at 10 and 2. It looks like we also have a bunch of your cruise control buttons. Um, I believe this is your regular cruise control plus your gap adjustment for the adaptive cruise control. And then I think this is your lane keep assist button. If it's not, I'm pretty sure someone will let me know in the comment section below. We have this brushed Dodge badging. I believe this is the four wheel drive badging. I'm not 100% sure. Again, I'll be corrected in the comments. And then right over here, we have all the controls for the center LCD display when it is on. And then over on the left-hand side, we have the sport mode button, which will toggle through different drive modes. Coming over here, we have a very sleek, minimalist style LCD touchscreen display. I believe this guy has wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, as well as navigation with some certain trims. Under that, we have your hazard light button. And then we have these very sleek, minimalist style air conditioning vents. Dual zone climate control is included. Push button start, that's in a perfect spot in my opinion. And then the automatic start stop button is right underneath that. Um, I love that. 12 volt outlet, USB, USB type C and a wireless charging mat. Right here we have the volume scroll wheel, which I like. We also have your uh, electronic parking brake and your shifter with manual plus minus. Behind that, it looks like we have your, um, what was this, traction control off button, I believe. And then we have your parking sensor button off. Two cup holders right here. Minimalist style center console with a decent amount of storage that does kind of go underneath the cup holder portion to maximize storage. Glove box is gonna be right here. It is 
looks like LED lit. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be incandescent lit for the passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity does have a three door universal garage remote. Up top right here, we have all of the um, dome map light master controls, as well as it looks like the uh, trunk release button. And then we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, I really do like the interior of this vehicle. Um, I just, I love the layout of everything. I love how everything is kind of angled towards the driver more so than the passenger. Now I know I'm not gonna get a bunch of leg room in the back, but let's take a look and see how much we have. So I know I'm not gonna fit back in here. I don't have nearly as much leg room. Uh, you're gonna get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats, rear air conditioning vents, as well as a USB and USB type C outlet. Again, I do apologize for the lack of lighting in here. I'm trying my best to bring in some light. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder, and it looks like we have a pass through to get to the trunk right there, which is pretty sweet. Decent amount of headroom though, but just not a bunch of leg room. And then up top you have your LED dome map light master controls. And then these seats do fold forward by pulling on that right there. Let's take a quick look at the trunk. So to open the trunk, you're gonna come up to the right side of the backup camera. There is a button. Maybe it was taken out. Oh, there we go. It will beep at you a couple times and then it will automatically open up for you. Looks like this has a privacy shield uh, included. In floor storage right here around the, looks like uh, full size spare. Storage cubby right here behind this uh, fabric piece. Incandescent cargo lamps on both driver and passenger side. You also have uh, grocery hanger hooks on both driver and passenger side. And then on the driver's side, you have a 12 volt DC outlet. And like I said earlier, you have a pass through through the front. So if there's something that needs to be gotten in the back, your passengers can reach through here and get it. You also have some D-rings on both driver and passenger sides. Now when you're done back here, you can come up to the right, click this button, it'll beep and then it will lock for you. And then you can also lock the vehicle by pushing the button to the right of that. Let's see, did I do it right? There we go. Just gotta beep a couple times. It's too early in the morning. All right, let's take a quick look at the uh, window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2024 Dodge Hornet GT, starting at 30,735, 268 horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque, and a top speed of 140. Hurricane two liter turbo inline four cylinder engine. It's got track pack features. There's your performance and interior. It also looks like this is the black top version of the GT and it has the uh, plus trim features as well. So yeah, it does have the Harman Kardon audio group. So there you have it, the 2024 Dodge Hornet GT Blacktop Plus. Absolutely beautiful looking uh, vehicle. If you liked the video, please consider giving me a like and share. If you wanna keep up to date with more auto show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and head over to Twitter or X and give me a follow as I will be posting all of the content exclusively on that platform first. Also, if you'd be so kind as to check out all the affiliate links in the description below, it does greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.